Andre Stewart has hit the portal. I cannot believe it. Andre has won a championship at the little league level. He won at the middle school level. Tree has won a state title at the high school level. Andre Stewart is also a Geico National High School champion. Talking to in the summer of 2021, he said we will be bringing championships to UK country soon. Based on the information provided, it certainly seems that Andre Stewart had a strong commitment to the University of Kentucky's football program. Despite having offers from other reputable programs, he chose to attend Kentucky, which is indicative of his belief in the team's potential and his connection with the program. His participation in the spring game, despite struggling with two pulled hamstrings and a back injury, further underscores his dedication to the team. This demonstration of resilience and toughness not only speaks to his personal character, but also to his commitment to helping Kentucky succeed. While injuries may have limited his performance on the field, his determination to play through the pain and contribute to the team's success suggests a strong buy-in to the program. It's clear that Andre was willing to put personal hardship aside for the greater good of the team, illustrating his loyalty to the Kentucky football program. In conclusion, despite the challenges he faced, Andre's actions suggest a deep commitment to the University of Kentucky and its football program. His drive to contribute to the team's success, even when dealing with significant personal and physical difficulties, is a testament to his character and dedication. Ethan, I think someone has dropped the ball with Andre. What do you think? Emily, speaking with Andre as well as his parents, I believe Andre hitting the portal was one of the toughest decisions ever for him and his family. They love Kentucky. His father, who used to be a professional trainer before his accident, continues to tell recruits how awesome Kentucky is and how great they keep their athletes. I must admit, today Don and myself watched Andre's workout and I don't know how Don felt but I was amazed. Andre's hustle and grind showed me that he is in shape and ready to make plays. You cannot even tell that seven months ago he had surgery. Andre's dad, Coach Stewart, looked at me with a grin and said, got that weight up off of him so now he will gradually be moving back into his shutdown corner spot. Coach Stewart also says once Andre gets his hips back, he will be moving forward at full speed. Emily, I too was surprised on how fast Andre completed his rehabilitation. I asked dad what is his secret. His response was done. He has my DNA. I chuckled and so okay. He turned back to me and said no it's my DNA. And he walked away. Emily, Ethan, and Ruth he was not kidding. Talking to people and doing my research dad was not lying. Coach Stewart is fighting almost illness known to men. He is doing it with a smile. His biggest fight is seven years ago Coach Stewart was completely paralyzed. Dad said Andre has Superman chromosomes. Here on this third down and five, Farrell to Thornton into flat. He's met immediately by the Warriors, Andre Stewart.
Andre Stewart, a highly skilled cornerback from the University of Kentucky football team, has made the difficult decision to enter the transfer portal following a decline in his father's health. I have had the privilege of tracking Stewart's progress since his middle school days, witnessing his unwavering commitment and strong work ethic firsthand. Stewart initially chose the University of Kentucky due to his admiration for the coaching staff, the enthusiastic fan base, and the fact that his brother also played for the team. Throughout his time there, he remained steadfastly loyal, even when confronted with uncertainties such as coaching changes and a lack of scholarship offers. Upon entering the university, Stewart experienced a hamstring injury, mm -hmm. preventing the University of Kentucky from seeing his full potential on the field. Despite the setback, he has made significant strides in his recovery. I recently had the chance to attend one of his training sessions, and I was truly impressed by how much progress he has made since his injury. With his father's health deteriorating, Stewart made the difficult choice to prioritize being closer to his family, leading to his entry into the transfer portal. Regrettably, this outstanding young athlete has not received the attention he merits from other schools, possibly due to apprehensions surrounding his injury history. Nonetheless, Stewart remains devoted to his goals and adheres to an intensive training Regimen. Bolstered by his family's support and his unyielding determination, I am confident that he will surmount these obstacles and excel in his college football career. In conclusion, Andre Stewart is an extraordinary individual and a talented athlete. His journey has been characterized by loyalty, perseverance, and an exceptional work ethic. As he navigates the transfer portal, I am convinced that any team fortunate enough to secure his talents will reap the benefits of his skill and unwavering dedication to the sport. Ready. Set. Go. Let's get it. Break down. Go. Let's get it. Break down. Go. Let's get it. Break down. Let's get it. Break down. One more. One more. Break down. Let's go. Finish it up.
effects of his blood flow, relieve aches and pains, and get you back on your feet again. Call or go online now. Get out of there, Drake. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, here, here. Here. Collins, defensive backs, University of Kentucky. Uh, here we have Andre Stewart, young man out of uh, Georgia, um, is currently graduating mid-year from uh, North Cobb High School. We got a chance to see him both at his former high school and at his, uh, his current high school, North Cobb. Uh, but Dre is a, a tremendously savvy football player. Um, he's got a really good knack for finding the football. Um, got good arm length. You know, he doesn't have the height but he has extremely long arms for his size. And you can see that here working the side shuffle. Again, good balance, has a good understanding of the position uh, uh, at the corner position. Again, you can see uh, just from the freeze frame, his arm length uh, for a guy that doesn't necessarily have the, uh, the height, but he's a, a tremendous football player, a really good feel for the position. You see him working the speed turn here uh, from a off man uh, coverage, great job snapping his eyes around once he does get transition, uh, and then being able to go locate the football, all right, and get that ball out. Again, we want hands-on ball, we want ball production, and Dre's shown that throughout his career, both at uh, North Cobb and Brookwood. Uh, here you get a chance to see the quick twitch, transitioning out, and again, ball production, getting hands-on footballs. Uh, that's really important. Uh, there's the seat belt. Uh, uh, that's the new trend with all the DBs now. Uh, here you get a chance to see me run support, again, a guy that's not afraid to put his hat on you now. Uh, he's a physical football player. Um, again, we're really excited about adding him to our room. Uh, I think he's going to be able to come in this spring um, and add some tenacity, some physicality uh, onto our room that we've definitely been looking for. Um, he's a, done a really good job 
in terms of developing his body, and he'll continue to do that. Again, you can see the physical, the physical play that he brings. He plays with a little bit of an edge. Had a chance to go watch him play this uh, this season, and that's something that definitely stood out. You see the block destruction, getting hands inside, controlling the blush plate, snatching off and going to stack the blocker, and then being able to go finish on the ball carry. Uh, extremely excited about Dre. I think he's going to do an outstanding job, especially as the mid-year of uh, digesting our system. Comes from a great, great football background there in Georgia, and uh, extremely excited about having him here at Kentucky.